What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be going over another Canny Valley Endurance AFK video step by step. So we went over Storm Shield West uh, last video. We have a like, couple little modifications. One, like I didn't need this little extra area right here, uh, tile. So I decided to place a wall light here and then uh, we're going to place a wall here and it's going to have a double crit rating, double crit damage. Uh, wall dart shooting through it. But um, that's like the modification I made to that. And as well as we don't need a block off on this left side of the tunnel over here. So I got rid of it. So it was kind of like this. So I got rid of it. But anyways, let's get on to the video. So we are going to be doing Storm Shield South today for Candy Valley Endurance. And this is going to be a little bit more block off heavy than uh, say Storm Shield West. But it has some ugly terrain. So we're going to go over exactly how to do it and why we're going to do it this way. So if we can see, they spawned all the way over here uh, in this little area, all the way across this back area into this little rectangular terrain over here. So if you look, they can travel up all this natural terrain right here, up this little ramp, uh, all along this, but you can't really build against this natural terrain right here, so we don't really want them to path there. So the pathway we're going to go with for this particular build uh, is, is going to be this right side pathway up this ramp right here. So our pathway is going to be simple. We're going to have them here. We're going to have a little recycler here. We're going to path them straight. There's going to be a um, edited low wall here. There's going to be a floor. No, I think we're going to go one more tile. No, one more tile, edited low walls, floor, there, there. And then we're going to go here and here. So that's going to be our pathway. It's just going to be uh, three tiles this way from the start of the top of the ramp, one tile to the left, and then one tile forward. That's all we're going to be needing for this amplifier. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, um, let's actually build the tunnel and trap it out. And uh, then we can get over to the block off and we can get over to all the other juicy things. So first things first is uh, how are we going to get them to go over to the right over here, right? We're gonna have this little section blocked off, right? So as you can see, there's like this natural slope right here. We can connect to the connect an attachment point here and put a layer on this natural ramp, and we can get them to path all the way over around it. If we put floors and cones on these four tiles right here, and then surround each of these in walls. So we're gonna do that right now. So this is like the only block off we're gonna go over like first. But uh, that's going to be really important block off so you guys understand the pathing, right? So no husk is going to go want to beat on this because it's all going to be tier 3. They're going to walk gonna walk all the way over here. We're going to place a wall here, wall here, wall here, and wall here. Okay? And then uh, we'll get to the floor trap or the spawn trapping and tunnel uh, in a little bit. But we're then going to cover this in ceilings. We're going to cover this in the ceiling. We're going to place a floor here, surround that in walls, uh, place a ceiling above, and we're going to edit a window in this back tile facing the east, and then we're going to put a wall behind it. We're going to then place a cone here facing the southwest and then surround that in walls. Which realistically, I think uh, we could get away with not having this uh, a low wall, but we're going to have it as a low wall. We're going to keep on going forward. There's going to be two walls behind these little... Uh, half walls here. Then we're going to have a wall attached to the wall that we placed earlier, the wall dart shooting into our west tunnel, and that should be fun. Alright. And then we can place a cone right here with uh, walls surrounding it, and that's going to serve as a little layering so they don't break through the right side. But that should be like our majority of our tunnel. So we're going to come up through here. There's going to be a one times reload speed sound wall, all durability right here. There's going to be a two times reload speed sound wall right here. And we can get rid of this wall because we want them to come up this natural ramp. We're going to have a two times reload speed sound wall here. And a two times reload speed sound wall here. We're going to keep going forward. Above on this ceiling, there's going to be nothing on the ceiling. But there's going to be blue wooden floor spikes on the ground right here. There's going to be an all durability two times reload speed wall launcher. I don't have any perked out, but they're going to be all durability, two times reload speed. And let me go get those out of my storage real quick. Let's see. I changed up the rolls on one of my wall launchers for another build that I'm doing. Uh, so I currently don't have the two times reload speed schematic, but I have a couple. 
uh, perked out already. That's 100 times reload speed, that's two times. So we're going to get this uh, schematic. So this is going to be the all their ability two times reload speed one. We're going to place it on this particular wall and this particular wall right here. We're then going to edit our wall into like a low wall like this. And we're going to place two right here and we're going to make a stagger recycler right here. We're then going to put a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher here. All right. And we're also going to place a sound wall over here. Just the two times reload speed one, just in case. Uh, so like anything that does make it past our like drop trap tunnel that we're going to make and anything that makes it past these sound walls uh, with propane on them is going to get recycled through here and then back around. And they're going to get bullied again. But then we're going to place a ceiling electric field here. This is going to be a crit rating, crit damage, reload speed damage, durability one. We're going to place it here. And we're going to place it here as well. We're going to place a gold wooden floor spike or your highest level wooden floor spike i think these are heals belt builds attached and double crit rating double crit damage uh you can put whatever there and then we're gonna in this little timeout room place a i think we are out of them so we're gonna use the flame grill floor trap right here we're then gonna put a broadside on each wall uh on the south and the north side and we're going to place a dynamo on this wall right here and then on the other side of this wall there's going to be this wall and this is going to be a reload speed wall dart so we can shoot into the tunnel we're going to keep going forward we're going to have our ceiling piece and we're going to have tar pits on each and every single one of these floors so ceiling piece on each and every single one of them we're going to have double crit rating double crit damage wall dynamos on each and every single one of these low walls and then on the rest of the walls we're going to have a double crit rating, double crit damage, wall darts. And then behind this little uh, edited cone piece facing the southwest, we're going to have a wall dart. And as well as uh, on the amplifier right here. Alright, and then on top of these uh, ceiling pieces, or on the bottom of them, we're going to have a double crit rating, double crit damage ceiling zapper. Alright. As well as we're going to have uh, two wall darts here. If anything makes it this far, we're going to place two wall darts on the back of each of these tiles. Uh, just so that we can uh, potentially like kill something if it does make it to this point right here. Alright, so that should be all the traps in the tunnel uh, that we've gone over. Now let's go over the block off. So because of this little block off that we made earlier, we're going to get away with a lot, lot less block off on the back half of the tunnel. So we're going to start with this little uh, floor that we have here, and we're going to make a cone and face it towards the southwest. We're then going to surround that in walls. For the rest of this, we're going to go over one, two, three tiles and cover it in cones. We're going to surround these easternmost two uh, cones with uh, walls around them, and then we're going to surround the last cone with walls. We're going to take a diagonal step to the southwest forward, and we're going to make a little full sand or a half sandwich facing the southeast okay we're gonna go to the front section of these on the south of these little sandwiches right here and we're gonna place floor pieces all along this these are gonna be edited into half floors like this and this is just gonna provide that little bit of la additional layering so that nothing goes and beats on these or tries to go through it and that's legitimately all the block off we're gonna need right there we can add like an extra layer right here uh, just for extra precaution, but this this works fine on my base, from what I've tested. But yeah, so that's going to be the block off on that left side. We're going to talk about the block off on the right side. So, assassin husks are mainly the worry about this right side over here. Uh, they're going to want to go through this little gap, and they can potentially go around here. Same with like lobbers and flingers. Uh, and we're going to be up there, so they want to target us. So the best way that I've found to do this is we're going to go back to the top of this double ramp. We're going to place a floor, floor, cone, cone. We're going to surround all of this in walls. Okay. And that's going to add into our lava shield later. I also place two ceiling electric traps on the bottom of these just in case anything does come over here. All right. So that should be the majority of the block off for this tunnel. It's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Uh as block off heavy as I thought it was going to be. But all right, so let's get onto the lava shield now. So we're going to start at the front of this little uh, tunnel where these edited floor pieces are, and we're going to place ceiling tiles all across it. 
all across it, all the way until one tile past our block off down here. So that's going to be all the way, and we're going to fill this in all the way until one tile before our block off over here. So this is going to be a good stopping point for it. But uh, we're going to fill all of this in with lobber shield. This not only serves as lobber shield for this particular amp, but it serves uh, as lobber shield for our C amp as well, our imp south. All right. So we're going to fill all of that in right there. It is a lot of lobber shield, and I agree with that statement if you guys say that. But uh, it's kind of necessary. Um, and it's going to integrate well into what we're doing with drop traps. So the, the second portion of our trap tunnel, now that we have our lobber shield up, is going to be our drop trap tunnel. So we're going to path them in a specific way that we can kind of just bully them with drop traps the entire way. So above uh, this little block off right here, we're going to put all durability ceiling drop traps following the pathway that they're going to take. So there, 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 and there. Right? So the little husks that spawn over here are going to come right along this way take the shortest path possible and they're just going to get hit by drop traps the entire way realistically nothing outside maybe the fattest of riot husks and smashers make it this far and the rest of the tunnel is meant for just destroying them basically but that should be this little spawn trapping right here uh we don't need to cover like the entirety of this area or anything nothing comes in this little section of our trap tunnel so we don't have to like uh, cover that at all but the other section we're going to talk about is, uh, this is going to be more for Imp South, but there is a spawn over here. And this little ceiling electric field and dynamo area is meant for, like, assassin husks and flingers coming over here. I really just don't want them breaking through these walls. Uh, so I just put wall dynamos and ceiling electric fields here to kill, kill them off, but it does contribute to the spawn trapping. So if you're looking to build this at the moment, there's this little nub sticking out of the ground. Just go walls all the way across. And then just put double crit rating, double crit damage wall dynamos on them. And then I put uh, ceiling electric fields on them. And we just covered that out one, two, three, four, five tiles. But that should be it about like the spawn trapping and stuff like that. Uh, for amplifier design, we went over it in our last video. Um, but we have every single side covered except for... The north side because north doesn't get hit for mine but if north gets hit for yours you're gonna have to build for the north side amplifier but um yeah that should be everything about this amplifier uh, i am going to go over here because my imp south that can have flingers come over here we're going to place a co or a ramp here and a ramp here connected to this block off and it's going to integrate into this lava shield nicely i used to have it placed up one more tile like this and husks used to be able to walk right here skirt onto it somehow and then walk up the amplifier so we had to adjust it back one tile but that should be it for this amplifier it's there's really not much to it like you can you can add more or less to it as you see fit but this usually is going to be enough to at least get you wave 26 i haven't gotten the wave 30 on this particular amp yet but wave 36 it definitely has been um as well as i do think on mine i have this tile piece added and a ceiling electric field the damaging ones and we could even add that right here as well i'm not sure if it hits uh, behind this cone but if it does that's some extra damage right there but that's uh it with this amplifier really hope you guys enjoyed this build it works super super well from what i've seen and it's a lot of overkill for wave one but the problem is in canny endurance if you're gonna want to afk it you're gonna be able to get like a wave and a random wave on this amplifier in home base and that's going to ruin your day and you're going to wonder why you have failed runs if you have a really really minimally built home base so you have to build it for wave 30 so you don't necessarily have to use the highest durability traps but you have to plan for every single random wave to get hit on this amplifier so that's what i did it's a little bit overkilled but that's for a purpose one of the interesting things that I've seen in this endurance is that there's a random tornado uh, that goes around the map sometimes and just spawns. Uh, sometimes it'll take a husk that's standing right here, blow them all the way up top of here, and you could potentially take amp damage like that. It's never enough to actually kill it, but it could be a concern. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to place a wall right here and a wall right here, right next to this sandwich. And we're just going to place two... Uh, double crit rating double crit damage wall darts right here and anything that comes up here is going to get right here they're going to take this path towards the amplifier and just get nuked by these wall darts 
So we're just going to place these up here. This is relatively important if you want no amp damage on this amp. Uh, usually it's not enough to kill the amp, so I'll, you don't necessarily have to have it, but I have it there just as a safeguard. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video and comment down below, as well as consider subscribing to my channel. I do have a Twitch uh, channel at twitch.tv slash Mitch underscore Robs if you guys want to come check out my content on there. We do a lot of Mythic, Storm King, Endurance, and Mission Help on there if you guys want to come join. As well as I have a Discord community. Uh, the link's going to be in the description for that, but that's where we hang out and that's the best way to get in touch with me. Alright, thank you guys so, so much for uh, watching the video. Toodles!